Oh, there's six people. Yeah, Vinny oh, said, we are huh? live. Oh, there's six people here? Oh, there is. Hold on, let me go. Hi, everybody. Vinny, hi. Hi, Vinny. I have King here. Yay, Vinny's here. Yay. I'm only seeing Vinny. Maybe it takes a while to see people. Yeah. The slight on. is so bright. <laughs> <laughs> I have two. This is a. This is, ah, <laughs> that's too dark. This is what the TikTokers use. It's called a ring light. <laughs> <laughs> is that better? Oh, there you go. Is that good? Yeah. Oh, is that a good setting? That's supposed to be a warm <laughs> setting. Oh, hi, hi Heather. Heather. And Southern hi. Mermaid. Hi. Hi, you guys. Oh, 14 people. See, it's funny how it jumps up from like zero to 14. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like, oh, everyone magically appears. Oh, Dana. Hi, Dana. <laughs> Hi, Dana. Dana. Oh, Calypso Antiques Cat. What? I forget your name. Hi, Janice. Her name's Catherine, right? I heard it on Side Street Markets channel, I think. Tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, he's saying hi, cat. So maybe, yeah, maybe it is Catherine or cat. Hi, Janice. Hi, Junk to be Loved. Hello. So if you guys are just tuning in, um, this is my Tuesday night live sale. And tonight I have Kim with me. Woohoo! Oh, All my vintage. <laughs> so uh, we're going to do, we're going to each sell 25 items. So six items are going to be offer ups and Oh, no, I have to do math. <laughs> 19 oh. items <laughs> oh, I will be... 20, I have 26 items because I added one more. Oh, you have 26? Well, mm -hmm. I had originally 25. So 20... I, have 20, I have 25 and this 25 oh, items and six of them are offer-ups. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's what I have. 20. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. We'll, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll figure or I can add. I can add one more item. Oh, no. No, you're good. Yeah, okay. that's because you have um, 25 items and six, six will be off for us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yes. So if you guys understood yeah. all that, <laughs> some <laughs> offer us <laughs> and mostly straight up prices. We have a variety of stuff um, and I'm shipping from Washington State. And Kim, where are you shipping from? Well, just replace that one. Sorry. <laughs> um, I am shipping from New Jersey. So uh, shipping's not included in the prices uh, that we're yes. giving. <laughs> so my zip code is 98661. If you kind of want to know like what the shipping prices are from um, you know, the West Coast, Washington, you can like type it in to get an idea. And she's shipping from the East Coast. So we're opposite ends. <laughs> um, <laughs> But we, uh, I ship from Pirate Ship. I use Pirate Ship. Do you use Pirate Ship or? Yeah, I use I use Pirate Ship as well. And then okay, uh, I do media mail if it's just like if someone just got a book on a uh, PayPal. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. So you guys will get you know discounts because we ship through Pirate Ship. And if you guys have subscribed to our channels, subscribe to mine. Subscribe to all my uh, Kim's count all my vintage and our emails i figured it out is scrolling down below mine is nani 3131 at yahoo.com and kim's is omvintage at gmail.com so you guys would have to email us your paypal email your physical mailing address and your uh, real name and i like it if you like register with us i like it when you put your youtube name in the email because then i can look it up really easily oh gosh a lot of, a lot of people are mary's here hi, uh, linda. hi Lori. Sarah, linda punky um Lori, belinda yay so a lot of people are here okay um and kim do you want so we're each going to do two items yes um hi also, sarah lee also and, um make sure you're all in live chat and not top yes. chat because uh, you might think you're the first person, but you might not be. <laughs> you might think you're the first person, but you're not. 
<laughs> every every time someone's like, I thought it was first. It's like, um, sorry, you need to refresh. <laughs> You're not first. <laughs> I don't know why every time people say that, like, you need to refresh. My Valley Girl always comes out. Like, yeah. you just need to refresh. You're not first. <laughs> I don't know why it just makes me bring out that attitude. Thrifty in the holler. Oh, look. Um, uh, sorry, um, I'm reading the chats, but um, <laughs> everyone's saying hello. But um, oh my God, I'm having a brain fart. Uh, Vintage and Vinyl is uh, mentioning to everyone what to do, you know, about yeah. being in live chat and stuff yeah. and refreshing. <laughs> Debbie's a mean girl. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna hear now. Every time I hear that, you may think it first. Yeah, you may think it first, but you're not. <laughs> um, okay, so Kim, you're gonna be first. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. Nope, nope. That's oh. hold on. That's not right. <laughs> hold on. Okay, there we go. All right, Kim's first. Hi everyone. So I'm gonna show uh two items first. Whoa, cheers, hold on. <laughs> don't break the stuff i know so the first item i have uh, i actually found another one of this tin and it's, it's this um uh the light pink yellow floral egg tin and uh, it's an egg shaped tin there you guys are there's somewhere on the back um whoops as well as the inside, there's Pat. Sorry, Pat. Sorry. <laughs> oh, there's somewhere there. It's very pretty for Easter. Um, and then there's just minor wear along the edges. And it also has like this rope thing. So, I, I mean, I don't think you'd hold it as a purse, but I guess it's like almost like you're giving it as a present. Um, but pretty for Easter decor, spring decor. Um, and it's six inches and uh, by four and one fourth inches. And this is uh, $10 for number four. So $10, number four for the pretty uh, egg shape tin. Okay, so $10, number four. Vinny said that tin is so fetch. So fetch. Oh my gosh. From the movie Mean Girls. Yeah. It's like, stop making fetch happen. It's like, <laughs> fetch is not a thing. And then um, the next item I have, uh, okay, is this, oh, is this light blue elephant figurine? <clears throat> Excuse me. And it doesn't want to focus as always. Um, <laughs> Hold on. Second. Let's do this again. Please focus. Well, anyway, it's a light blue <laughs> elephant figurine. And it says Japan right there. And um, this is two and a half inches across and one and uh, one half inches tall. There's no chips or cracks. Yes, trunks way up. Good luck. And... I need some good luck for this focus. There you go. See, it's oh, a, there we go. It says Japan. Isn't it so cute? So this a cute little elephant is um eight dollars, number ten. So eight dollars, number ten for the little elephant figurine. Okay. Oh, now it's trying to focus on your face. I know. Now it's like, oh, it doesn't want to focus. <laughs> um. Uh, so I, that was my two items. Okay. Oops. Okay. And maybe if things like don't sell in the beginning, we can reshow items um, for people that are coming late. Yeah. Uh, hi, everybody. <laughs> if I haven't said hi to you individually, um, hello, hello. <laughs> Chat's going kind of fast. Um, I have a brooch, and this is a kitty cat brooch if you're a kitty cat fan. It is a AJC American Jewelry Chain Company. And this company I researched started in 1927 and they stopped making, uh, it went out of business in the mid 1990s. So this is silver tone. It's a kitty cat brooch. You see like the sardine and the mouse and the bird, another mouse and a yarn. And it has initials AJC. 
so it's signed. I don't know if you guys want to know the size of it or it is about three inches across. And this guy is nine dollars number 45. Nine dollars forty-five. So if you are a cat lover, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> or a cat lady, I know it's not sweet with a little dangly. <laughs> Even if you didn't like the brooch, you can actually maybe somehow remove these and um, use them as charms. Oh yeah, that'd be cute. All right, I see Belinda. Yeah, you got it, Belinda. Um, I'm starting really to get into charms. So sometimes when I see little dangly things on bracelets or things like that, um, I'll buy it and um, just for the charms on it. Yeah. It's like becoming a thing. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'll do, I guess I'll do this. I think I put the tag inside. Um, next is this, I think this is like milk glass. And it's a pepper shaker and you could like use this forever because this is like a big pepper container. You can put a lot of pepper in there and it's vintage. The top is yellow and it does have some indentations, but it gives it character. So it's wonderful. <laughs> it's, it's clean. See, clean. And it's really cute. Usually I see them in red, but this is yellow and this is going to be $8. Very sturdy. Uh, number 31. So if you like that kishi, kichi, um look, this is it. Uh, okay, eight dollars number thirty-one. Okay, here we go. Okay, you got Belinda. Hello, I'm back. Okay, so I have a set of two books. And um, the first book I have right here says, Happy Birthday, You Are Just My Cup of Tea. And there's a blue sugar Aww. on it. <laughs> and here's the back of it. Isn't that pretty with the bluebird and the flowers? Um, this is uh, from American Greetings, uh, circa 1971. There is some writing, if I could get to it. I'm just trying to stay like this so I'm not out of focus. Yeah, real still. <laughs> so <laughs> there's some writing on the inside here, um, but that's okay. It's really, if you like junk journaling um, or scrapbooking, there's really pretty illustrations in this one. There's a cute dog, and then I'll show some more. Hold on. That's cool, too. And this one I thought was pretty for like spring decor. Oh, that <laughs> is really pretty. Yeah, so even if you just, um, you know, whatever you want to do with it, open it, put it in a spring display, okay? So that's the first book you'll get. And then the other book you'll get is um, A True Friend is the Best Possession and Other Proverbs. There's a cute kitty cat and some birds. And this is also from American Greetings, circa 1968. There's also some writing on the uh, inside, but the rest of the book is really cute. Look at that for junk journaling. And <laughs> there's the donkey. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, I just love the illustrations. Um, in this very cute look at and that you can, you can send these media mail right yeah so yeah. this was really cute too there's like a oops there's like a bird and there's eggs and a kitty cat <laughs> so it's really cute so you'll get the set of these two books um if i can grab my number oh my gosh <laughs> the set of these two books for uh eight dollars Number 19, $8, number 19 for the set of these two books, okay? And, okay, I see, see a pet? No. Reclaim Reclaimed Treasures Treasure. by Mary. Thank you, Mary. Okay, and then the other item I have is a- That was a popular item. I know. <laughs> Um, 
I have this white and gold um, uh, floral. I think it's a Demitas cup because I feel like if this was a tea cup, that's too short of a tea cup. Like it's like you're having a tea shot. <laughs> so I think it's a Demitas cup. So maybe you could use this for espresso or something or whatever. Um, <laughs> And uh, it's in good condition, so I'll show you the cup. This is the inside of it. it has these pretty flowers with a gold rim, um, and like this pretty design that goes around. Here's the bottom of it, and then while I'm still in focus, stay right there. <laughs> um, <laughs> here's the saucer. And uh, the saucer is four and a half inches diameter, and then the cup is under three inches in diameter. So you'll get this, and then this cup uh, on the bottom, the, it says Winterling um, Bavaria, Germany on the bottom. So it's very cute. So this is, um, what's my number? Okay. <laughs> this is a $10 for number one. Very pretty for a spring decor, and you can number one. Yeah, so even if you just want to put a flower in it, you don't want to use it for drinking um, or just display. So ten dollars, number one. Very cute. Very springy. Yeah. <laughs> uh Nate said hi Aww. to you, Patrick. Hey, Nate. Oh. <laughs> Okay, um, so I don't know if some of you think these are creepy or cute, but I have a couple gnomes. Here's a little happy gnome. He's not vintage. He has the tag. But he's also coming with this little guy. <laughs> he's so happy. <laughs> he's just chilling. And these are both kind of like of a resin material, kind of like a hard plastic. And for these two little dudes, ten dollars, number forty-seven. Ten dollars, number forty-seven for the two happy um, gnomes, and they're about four inches in in a uh, size. Okay, uh, I think we're going to do an offer up since we have fifty-three people here. Okay, uh, Thomas Lynch, you got it. Thomas Lynch, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. You got you've already registered, right, Thomas? You sound familiar. If not, I'm so sorry. But if you haven't, please register your PayPal email, your mailing address, and your name um, at nani3131 at yahoo.com. And if you already have, then okay. <laughs> I'm so, like, bad at remembering. <laughs> um, okay. So. With Seuss. Oh, you're with Sue Spe Spezio? Okay. Maybe I should write that down. I will, I'll forget. With Sue. So I would just look up her. Okay. Right? How do you spell her name? Okay. Let me write that down because I'll forget. I know. It. Okay. I'm going to do an offer up. And. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. I get so many emails, I totally forget. So I'm going to offer up this little vase here. It is a Tanalis. No, oh, that's all I wrote. Tanalis small vase. I'm going to start this at $12. It's an offer up. And I put these. Well, one of the flowers just fell. I'm not selling the flowers, but I'm putting them in so you can kind of get a. <laughs> Get an idea of what it looks like. It doesn't even look that great. But, um, hang <laughs> those out, rewind. Um, different flowers. I'm trying, I'm trying to like <laughs> decorate things and like dress things up so people like get an idea, and it's just not working. <laughs> I'll try again later. Uh, it does have. Like the three lines, I didn't get this at Goodwill, so I don't know what those three lines mean. Um, I didn't get it at Goodwill, so it doesn't mean three dollars, so I'm not sure. Uh, it's Mex, Mexico, and uh, I think Mazalon, I think that's in Mexico, right? I, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> but it's hand, hand painted, very well done. 
I know I need to get a fake his succulent. I saw some fake succulents, but they were like in the in the pot, you know, they weren't like by itself so you could put stuff in. So I'll have to look around. Anyways, this is offer up. Is anyone interested? <laughs> Turn it $12. If there's no interest, I'll set it aside. Oh, uh, which email should I use? Can't see it that great. Oh, um, I'm Nani3131 at yahoo.com and Kim is omvintage at gmail.com. Fifteen the hollers at 12. And you guys, is there a lag? Let me know if there's a lag. Maybe I'll slow down. This kind of looks like a bird, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. I don't think it is, but. Yeah, and then that could be like the feathers, like a peacock. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like, oh, my God, this, this looks, wait, this looks like an angry face. I just, <laughs> you see that? Yeah. Do you see it now? I see it. <laughs> is that selling it or not? <laughs> Definitely. Green olives. Yeah, I see green olives. <laughs> um, what else do I see? Or it could be like <gasps> that. Could look like an owl if you oh, like. Oh yeah, that's cool too. Yeah, but like that. Okay, I just see twelve dollars. So I see angry. <laughs> um, who had it? You cannot, I can't unsee it. Well, I Ooh. think um, thrifting in the hauler, right? You're right. Thrifting in the hauler. I just see you at $12. So going once, going twice, sold to thrifting in the hauler. Yay, Mickey. <laughs> okay. Did I show two things? I did. Yes. Okay, right? your turn. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Okay. So I'll do an offer up as well. Um, so I have this uh, like blue right, yeah. alabaster looking egg. Um, I think it's alabaster. I mean, it has weight to it. <laughs> so we're going to start this off at $10. Um, but isn't it so pretty? It just looks like, like a blue, like marble type of stone so, that is pretty yeah i could put it like you know in a, a basket or a dish or something or just even on you know next to something so i see auntie christy at 10 isn't it beautiful it just looks like the ocean it's so pretty if um um and then if you're out just say if you're out um, if you want anyone else wants to put more than 10, just put I see Rose Spangenberg at 11. Okay. It's so blue. <laughs> blue like the that's ocean. A, that's its natural color, right? It's not painted. No, it doesn't yeah. look like it's painted on. Um, That's it, a natural stone. Okay, color. so Belinda and Auntie Christie's out. I see Chicago Lady at 12. If anyone else wants to put more than 12, I see. Okay, Auntie Christie's out. Uh, Chicago Lady's at 12. It looks dyed. Maybe. I mean, it is pretty heavy. So. I mean, it's beautiful. <laughs> um, I see Rose at 13. It's blue like the ocean. I want to take a dip <laughs> in the water. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Right? It just looks yeah. like the ocean. Um, Rose? Did you, just, did you see Rose? I see Rose at okay. 13. If, um, if you're out, please put your out. If anyone else... Wants to go more than 13. So Chicago ladies that is out. Hi, Crafty Jackie. Hi, Maria. Um, So I don't see anyone else at 13. If anyone wants to put more than 13, just put more than 13. Um, so, okay. <laughs> so I think everyone said they're out. So... 
Um, I'm gonna, uh, oh, let's oh, see. I'm like already spacing out. Um, so who was the last person? Uh, Rose, Rose at 13, yeah. right? Uh, we'll, we'll count it down and call it. Yeah, so I'm gonna call it now. So, um, so going once, going twice. Uh, this is sold to Rose Spangenberg for thirteen dollars. Thank you, Rose. Yay! Oh, Rose. Oh, that's oh. funny. Uh, the number is thirteen. <laughs> ah, nice. So, Rose, you get this for thirteen. Thank you. Um, and then my second item. Uh, I'm just going to do a regular set price item. Um, okay, here we go. Wait, what did I put? Oh, okay, so it's this white brooch that doesn't want to focus. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Let's do it again. Sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Story <laughs> of my life on live sales especially when it's tiny i can kind of see it i can get an idea of it <laughs> okay hold on there you go there we go <laughs> we're not moving now so <laughs> this is a, a white brooch with um light pink and blue flowers and green leaves it's one and three eight inches diameter it's in good condition and it's uh, fourteen dollars, perfect for spring and Easter. Um, fourteen dollars, number seven. So fourteen dollars, number seven. Okay, that was my second item. All right. Um, okay. okay, I'm gonna do another offer up. I see. Oh, sorry. I see Belinda for number seven. Thank you, Belinda. All right. Okay. Hey, Belinda. Um, I have a Poodish Muda poodle planter and I put some flowers in it so you can get an idea of how beautiful it looks. <laughs> um, this has some weight to it. It is not signed. It does have crazing. And you probably can't even see in the camera, but it does. But this poodle is a good little poodle. Look at that face. It is about seven by seven inches. It's got some weight to offer up. And we're going to start it off at $16. The flowers don't come with it. I'm just showing you how pretty it is with the flowers. If you want me to take the flowers out to show you the inside, I can. I don't see any chips. Um, it's off for starting at 16. I don't think I see any chips in it. And be perfect, perfect little planter. If you collect poodles, you must... Put this in your collection. <laughs> <laughs> I love how shiny it is. It's so shiny. It's got a nice solid, solid look to it. This won't break. There's the flowers. <laughs> Do you, I, I can take the flowers out and show you the inside. There's the inside. So if there is there any interest in this planter? If not, I can move on to the next item. Let me, this light's really bright. It's kind of washing things out. Let me turn it off for a second. Oops, no, that's not what I want to do. So here you can get kind of the details of it. See, it's got like, it's supposed to look like fur, kind of curly fur. Royal Copley, I don't know. There's no, there's no, there's no markings on it. So I, I do not know, but it is solid. Like it's really thick. Yeah, sure. We could call it Royal Copley. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> no, I don't know. Do you think it is? So, uh, is there any interest? not i'm going to set this aside maybe show it later i'm gonna turn my light back on um uh, i have a couple of oh no that's yeah a couple pairs of earrings and they go together 
uh, washing dishes. Nice. And there are two pairs. So you get the um, Laurel um, Burke. Oh, what? Oh, Stephanie, I think. It was offer up. Oh, yeah. Junk Starting at 16. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, they always sign pieces? Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, it's still solid. I mean, it kind of looks like one, but I, I don't know for sure. I don't know how you can tell. You guys know. Yeah, it's, it's it was offered up starting at sixteen. But if you're the only person, then it would be sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> um, next, I have these earrings, and these are signed Laurel Birch. Remember last week I sold that Laurel Birch um, purse. Well, here is a pair of earrings. And as you can see, they're signed on the back, so little dangles. And then with it, I'm going to sell these silver tone little birds earrings. Aren't these pretty? Those are pretty. No, I just love how they're like mid-air. They're just flying, loving life. So for the two pairs of earrings, $10, number 38. $10, number 38 for the two pairs of earrings. Hi, Sue. Gosh, a lot of people are here. Jackie, Miss Century Vintage, Judy, Becky, Nate. Uh, I see Aunt Christy was first. Sorry, Lori, for the earrings. All right, back to you, okay. Kim. Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do um, another offer up. All right. So it's a set of eight postcards. So I'm going to show each one. And um, so we're going to start with this one. Oh, that's cool looking. If you'd like to focus for me. Okay, so the offer is going to start at 10. So while you guys are deciding, I'm going to try and zoom back in. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway. So while it's trying to focus for me, this is going to start at $10. So you'll get eight postcards. So this um, uh, says Easter. He's It's like a rabbit serving uh, uh, eggs. <laughs> and it says Easter greetings. And this is the back of the postcard. Please focus for me. <laughs> and then the second, um, there you go. So yeah, let's in focus now while we're there. Cool. Um, <laughs> so starting at 10, so I see Belinda at 10. So he's serving some eggs. Uh, and then while we're in focus, here's the second one that you'll get. It says uh, Easter greetings. It's a rooster, right? With some little chickies. And then the back of this card is from 1910. Look at the penmanship. And I see a curious cat at 11. Um, the next card you'll get says Easter greeting. And it's a boy in the choir. Um, and it has like flowers. It's at church. And then in the back of this, I don't know what the year is. But uh, I just love that it says postcard in the back and pretty penmanship. The... Um, I see Jamie at 15. And then the fourth card I found, Patrick found this with me. I was laughing. So <laughs> this says the rare species of a jackalope <laughs> using cattle roundups are very dependable and easily trained, a breed of antelope and jackrabbit. But obviously that's not real. <laughs> um, I think it says this is from 1987. Oops, sorry, 1987. And then, uh, where are we on the fifth one? The fifth card you'll get is um, uh, Easter greetings with the cross and flowers. And then this is the back of the postcard. <laughs> uh, gigolo, who said gigolo? What? <laughs> oh, no. I see Betty saying gigolo. And then the next card you'll get is this East. Isn't it so pretty? It's kind of like a metallic blue almost. Um, and I love that the chickies are uh, pulling the baby's 
uh, a uh, shirt or something and the socks are like falling off. Here's the back of the yeah, postcard. It's like but it's, it's, it's like pressed on. Yeah, if you can see, it's like raised. So I see Belinda at 16. The next card you'll get is an Easter remem remembrance. <laughs> uh, it's purple and pink with gold. I see Susan. <laughs> I see Auntie Christy at 21. Here's the inside. There's some writing, but you can use it for junk journaling or just display. And then uh, the last card you'll get is a joyous Easter tide. Uh, it's so pretty. It has these like daisies, flowers, and like a little farm like in the sunset. <laughs> A joy nice. tide. Belinda's at 26. So you'll get eight cards. Okay. So we get this one. Uh, <laughs> okay. Susan from the out. You'll get uh, uh, eight cards. Uh, Jamie's out. So Belinda's at 26. The cute little baby <laughs> or toddler. I don't know. <laughs> um, so Belinda's at 26. Then you get this card. Oops, upside down. And um, <laughs> this one's a fun. Patrick found this, so yeah. if you get oh my it, gosh, yeah, Patrick. Patrick found this one, so thank you. That's awesome. I was laughing when he found it. So Belinda's at twenty six. So I'm gonna start to um. Auntie Christy, I just saw Auntie Christy oh, twenty seven. Sorry. So you get that. Auntie Chrissy's at 27. If you're out, just say you're out. Oops. <laughs> this camera. And then uh, the rooster. It's like, listen to me, it's Easter. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Spread your wings. Um, <laughs> and then that one's you, a classic. this yes. one is like, eggs anybody? Um, <laughs> And uh, hi, Aaron and Mr. Chapter Two. Uh, you got Belinda, <laughs> twenty-eight. What's so? <laughs> what's with the gigolo talk? The bunny <laughs> eggs, right? Isn't it funny? Belinda, Belinda's at twenty-eight. Oh my god! So Belinda's at twenty-eight. So you get all these cards. So if you're out, please say you're out. I'm gonna start. Um, what's the word? Counting it down. Counting it down. <laughs> I keep forgetting. <laughs> so who we have Belinda. Belinda's at 28. 28. So if you're out, please say you're out. Um, don't forget you get these funny cards. Uh, not fun. This one's funny. Oops. Um, so I'm gonna count down. Uh, uh what what did I say? Yeah. So um <laughs> so Belinda at 28, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Um so going once, going twice. Uh, sold to uh, Belinda for $28 for the eight uh, uh, postcards. <laughs> cool. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Belinda. <laughs> what am I missing? Are you reading the chat? I only saw the jiggle. Oh, what's going on? Oh, my through? gosh. Go back, Kim. It, okay. It, go back. Um, oh, Belinda, it's uh, number 17. But I have your info, so... So, Belinda, thank you. That's going to you for um, 28, correct, Pat? Yes, yep. Okay. All I saw was Gigolo, and, like, that's too cheap, Nate. Um, let's, go, let's go back and go read it. Okay. Go back and read it when you're done. Okay. And then my second item. <laughs> Woo. Okay, my second item is um, this cute little um, white rabbit Wade figurine. If it'd like to focus for me, I promise it says wait. Let's do this again. As Patrick says, from my heart to yours. Okay. Well, it's a <laughs> it's a Wade figurine, I promise. <laughs> you see that? It's a white rabbit. And this is um six dollars number sixteen. Six dollars number sixteen. Perfect for Easter. So six dollars. Number 16 for the Wade. Yes, Wade Wimsey. Okay. Cool. I see uh, Rose 
Spangenberg. Thank yeah. you, Rose. Uh, I got uh, yeah, those are my two items, uh, Stephanie. I'll catch All up right. with the chat now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, that'd be cracking up. Um, I have an offer up. These are two rare little kid hankies, and they're very colorful. Um, and they're gonna offer up. Here's the first hanky. Cotton hanky, and here's oh. the second one. <laughs> kind of gives you some Disney vibes too. And the offer up is starting at ten dollars for the two mm. kid hankies. Oh, that's cute. Uh, they're nine by eight, and for the two little kid hankies, ten dollars for the two of them. Offer up, so starting at 10. I see Susan at 10. Sarah Lee, you'd have to offer 11. Belinda's at 11. I think it's, oh, it says come and get it. I was gonna say, I think it's French. <laughs> I was like, oh, read it. <laughs> I was reading it backwards. I was reading from behind. I was like, is that French? And I'm like, oh, no, it says come and get it. <laughs> um, Susan's at 12, Belinda's out. Susan is, Susan, did you? Oh, Sarah's, Susan's at 15. Oh, Sarah's 13, but Susan's at 15. Hanky Panky, come and get it. <laughs> oh, but that's a mom with her kids. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, I see that. You can make these into masks. You could, would these even like work that well? They're kind oh, of thin. They look kind of thin. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't even help. <laughs> You're gonna get COVID if you wear these. Uh, Sarah Lee's at, where am I at? 16, Susan is out. Okay, so we're at 16. Would anyone like to offer 17? For the two little kid hankies, vintage, they're vintage. Um. Okay, Sarah Lee Coleman, I think it's going to go to you. I don't see any other offers. So going once, going twice, sold to Sarah Lee Coleman. Sarah Lee. Oops. Oh, my gosh. My pen's running out. Um, <laughs> yes, Jackie, that's why I bid for Nate. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I saw what. So, Vinny, you thought I said gigolo, but I said jackalope. And then and then someone was saying that we need to auction off Vinny. And then <laughs> Nate said we could auction him off. But it'd only be one penny increments. And oh. then I said I would bid. And he said at least I get one bid. <laughs> I had a window scene in math class. <laughs> oh. Hi, Crystal. Okay, so who likes to collect um, nesting dolls, wooden Russian nesting dolls? Because if you do, you could buy the tiniest nesting doll you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> this is so tiny that it is only one and a half inches tall, the biggest one. It is hand painted. It is wood. There's the. Oops, there's the next one. So cute. It's super tiny. There's the. Where's her face? <laughs> next one. It gets smaller, and I think that's it. And there's the last one. And this is eight dollars, number thirty-nine. I'm gonna put it all together. Eight dollars, number thirty-nine. You want the tiniest wooden hand-painted nesting doll in the world? <laughs> eight, dollars. Ah, number thirty-nine. Oh, uh, Rose Spankenberg, I see you first, so you get it. Smaller and smaller. Okay, back to Kim. Hello. Okay. 
So I'm going to do um, another offer up. So, all right. Go. Cool. So this is a egg that doesn't want to focus for me. Hold on one second. Do this again. <laughs> I want you to see it. Focus. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. So this um, is a purple and green, like iridescent egg paperweight. So this is going to start, uh, this is an offer up that's going to start, oh, there you go, at $15. So while I got this in focus, it's starting at $15. Wow. And Beautiful. Look at that. You can even see the inside. It kind of looks like, like there's something on the inside, like... Um, not a flower but they just made it look you know the illusion i can't i don't want to tilt it too much because i don't want to drop <laughs> uh, so uh, nate is asking is a sign yes um so i can't really show you the initials because it's very tiny it's on the bottom um but it said initials are msa and it's from uh 88 so 1988 so there's no chips, no cracks. It's two and a half inches tall. It's a very pretty paper way uh, that's in an egg shape. So I see um, Auntie Christy at how much? 15. 15. So if anyone wants to put more than 15, uh, MSH, I don't, I'm not sure. It said MSA. I see Patricia Gessner at 16. And the inside, so I see Auntie Christie at 17. It's beautiful. Isn't it just so cool? I just love the colors. And like, when you see this in person, like the light purple, you can't really see it because it's reflecting too much. But right mm -hmm. here, it's so cool. Like, it just looked like another uh, layer, something. <laughs> uh, Auntie Christie is at 21. Let me put my arm down. <laughs> um, but isn't it gorgeous? I've just never seen like an egg shaped paperweight like this with all the free stuff. <laughs> I see Patricia Gessner at oh, yeah. 25. Um, Nate is saying that there's one on eBay for four dollar signs. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, here's a good deal for you guys. Yeah. I guess I should have looked first, but <laughs> okay, so Auntie Christie's out. I so Patricia Gessner is at 25. If you're out, just say out. Um if you want to put more than 25, put more than 25. Um if not, I'm going to start call. What was what what calling, calling it? Calling Countdown it. And calling it. Calling it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a little, yeah. So I'm calling it. So we have um, Patricia Gessner at 25. So going once, going twice. Okay. And sold to Patricia Gessner for. Um, $25. Okay. And there's no tips or cracks. By the way. Oh, Mount St. Helens ash glass. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Is that what it is? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I guess it's. Oh, wow. Mount St. Helens, that's by me. <laughs> oh, it's, it is an H. Is that, what is that, Stephanie? Is that a. Um, Helens? Yeah. It's it, a volcano. What is it's it? a volcano in Oregon. Oh, cool. I, I was, um, I lived not too far from Mount St. Yeah. Helens when it blew up when I was a kid. Oh, Patricia Gessner, um, this is a uh, number 22, by the way. So number 22, uh, for you. And then the other item I have, um, sorry, is a book. Okay. And it says, God is everywhere, discovering God's love in the world. And this is from Hallmark, um, circa 1968. There are some minor tears on the dust jacket, 
here and here. Um, but obviously you could take that off, take the, the dust jacket off. Um, and it looks like this on the actual uh, book. And, um, but other than that, it's in good condition. And it's so cute. The illustrations are so cute. So you hear his voice in the murmuring winds. And look at the snow, snowman there. So you can use this Is this Hallmark? Is this yeah. Hallmark? Yeah. From 1968. Wow. Um, and then the illustrations are just so pretty. Um, so cute. So you can use this for junk journaling, or you could even, you know, just use it for, as a book, <laughs> whatever you want. Um, so for this book, uh, this is a uh, $6, number 21, $6, number 21. Hi, Dee. And uh, those are my two items. Okay. Hi, Alex. Hi, Dee. Gina says hi. Oh, Belinda Carroll, uh, 21 goes to you. Thank you, Belinda. Hi, Hi Gino's Fines. Hi, Alex. Hi, yeah, when Mount St. Helens blew, it was in Washington, it was Oregon, it was California. It was crazy. Like, the ashes just, like, went everywhere. Oh, wow. I was three when it blew up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have two brooches. They're birds. I have this one that has a little bit of wear to it, um, but it still is got good condition. It is not marked. And this one um, is gold tone with like enamel and little rhinestones. It's like a little uh, hummingbird. It is not marked, but super cute. And they're both uh, going together. $12, number 44. $12, number 44. Quick. Oh, Teresa's here. Does anyone want that? Uh, Belinda, you got it. All right, go. Yeah, quick. Okay. Uh, next up, I have, well, we have 73 people here, so I might as well do this one. This is like a mm -hmm. gag gift. <laughs> it's Kamaputra. <laughs> <laughs> 52 mind-blowing ways to poop. <laughs> so, uh, you could poop like a like skydive. <laughs> Let's see. The captain. <laughs> Oh, hey, uh, the pommel horse. So it's just, it's, just, it's just like a cute gag gift. Um, <laughs> oh, my God, I like this one. The one cheek lean. Oh, my gosh. Oh my God. So this normally retails for $11. Oh, God, this 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 is multitasking. It's called the writer. So you oh can God. straddle it and write on the, to the toilet top. What? <laughs> I bought this a long time ago because I thought it was the funniest thing. And if you want to give it as a funny gift, it's $4. Oh, I didn't, and it's number 48. If you know someone likes poop jokes or you just want to give a funny gift. <laughs> <laughs> you poop like a captain who would have thunk it. You could put that in the bathroom for the yeah. poop to eat. <laughs> oh, who's done this? Bone poop. Now that we have cell phones. Um, oh, I like this. Hey, you're close to New York, uh, Kim. Yeah. <laughs> this one's called the New York Breakfast. Whoa. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> coffee. Oh, who no. wants this? Oh, wait. Who was first? Who was first? Hold on. I was laughing. I uh, see Belinda. Belinda. You got it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I got a squatty potty as a white elephant gift one year. Oh, did you? Yeah, like it's white elephant gift. It's one of those. Um, okay, so Belinda, you got it. 
You're first. That's what I was thinking it would be great for, you know, people are like, what the heck is this? Yeah. <laughs> Kama Putra. Okay. That was my two. All right. So um, I have. <laughs> <laughs> she said there's at least one person right now pooping while watching this statistically. Oh. <laughs> as long as we don't see them. Thank you for watching. Who is it? Raise, don't forget, raise your hand. Don't forget the thumbs up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the next item I have is a secret um, tin. Uh, if you'd like to focus for me, let's try this again. Okay. So you can see it. <laughs> um, it's for antiseptic throat. Uh, what is it? Lozenges. Lozenges. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. And uh, it has some normal wear, but you know, it gives it character. And uh, you could put your secret stash of whatever you want in there. Keep it, keep it as a secret. Oh my gosh, Pat. <laughs> 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 so yeah, <laughs> that's what he kept saying yesterday when I showed him this. I have two of these, all right? So um, if you like to collect tins, I think it'd be cool. For your tin collection or for display, it has like a dark navy blue um, color on it. So I have two of these. Um, so I'm going to sell them separately. So the first two people, uh, this is $6 each. Okay, so $6. So the first two people to type in number five can each get one of the secrets, not secrets, according to Pat. <laughs> Um, six dollars, number five. So two people can get a chance to win um, one of each. And there is some normal wear. Uh, just keep that in mind. But it's really cool. So six dollars, <gasps> number five. Okay. Um, and then I have <gasps> another oh, uh, another offer up. So if you guys like those postcard lot, I have another one. Um, you can get a chance to uh, get a chance to these. <laughs> so um, so we're, the offer up is going to start at ten dollars, and you'll get a set of eight postcards. Okay, so the first card is awesome. <laughs> So uh, it says Easter greetings, and it's like a bunny, uh, uh, like a conductor of an orchestra, and all the bunnies are in cracked eggs, and they have their music sheets. So I guess he or she is telling them to uh, sing correctly, <laughs> or whatever. Um, and it's uh, it says postcard in the back. So let's start at ten dollars. You so you get eight postcards the next card that you're going to get is this beautiful silver like metallic card with a pink egg with blue flowers and it says an easter greeting i see a curious cat at 11 and then this is the back of the postcard um isn't it so pretty so that's the second one you'll get uh the third postcard you'll get says uh best easter wishes and if you look closely it's like raised um and it's like a chick uh, in a in a nest with like purple flowers and like a little cottage in the background and um here's the back of that postcard and then the fourth postcard um if you're out please say you're out and then pat tell me who yeah, is I see. Okay. Susan Funderburg, $12. Okay. And then you'll get uh, the fourth postcard is this Easter greeting uh, rabbit. He has like a bag of eggs with his walking what? stick. <laughs> it's okay. Belinda Carroll, and, 13. And then it says this is from April 1911. Wow. The uh, postcard. So it's kind of raised if you look closely. Isn't it awesome? So Belinda's at 13. 
And then the next card you'll get is this Easter greeting postcard with, um, are those hens? Mm -hmm. Right? They're not roosters. And then there's, there's a kitty. He's like, please feed me. <laughs> and a little baby chick. I see Jamie, mid-century, yeah. uh, century wasted <laughs> at 15. Here's the back of the card. So you can see that this is kind of raised also. Perfect for Easter decor. Uh, the next card you'll get is uh, let this be your Easter greeting. And look at the chicks like, hey, what's up? Belinda <laughs> Carol at 16. Okay. And then this is from 1910 as well. And then the next, the card, yeah, the next card you'll also get is this Easter greeting um, card with the rabbits and the little ducky and they're eating lettuce. <laughs> and then this is the back of the postcard as well. I see Belinda at 18. Please, if you're out, please say you're out. And then the last card that you'll get is this beautiful card with um, uh, the two chicks with the gold cross in the back with a purple ribbon and it says Easter greetings and love. And this doesn't say the year either. I see Susan Funderburg um, um, for 20. And then so that's, so you'll get these eight cards. Please say if you're out. <laughs> oh, okay. Blind by you. So, <laughs> so, so we have Susan. Um, <laughs> Susan Funderburg. At Funderburg at twenty. So you get this card. So you get the two. So Belinda's at twenty-four. You'll get uh, eight cards. So you get this card. You get this cute one. So Belinda's at twenty-four. And then you have this What's cute tri card. And then. What's triple B? I don't know. Oh, Blind by Beauty. Because she oh. made the fun. Okay. <laughs> so you get this card. So uh, Belinda, I have you at 24. So if you want more than 24, put more than 24. Okay. If you're out, say you're out. Susan said she's out. Okay. So I'm going to start calling it. <laughs> is that what it is? Yes, right? Then you get the egg. So, Linda, I have you at 24, right? So, if no one's going to put more, I'm going to call it now. So, That's one. going once, so going twice. Okay, so sold to Belinda Carroll for uh, $24. Okay. Thank you, Belinda. What's the item number? And the item number is um 25 for these cards. good comment mary <laughs> why do we say t oh. <laughs> oh we're leaving a poop um so those are my two items uh stephanie <laughs> oh thank you you know what i like to do you guys ever do this <laughs> your husband's when he's in the bathroom for a long time once in a while I'll knock on the door it's like what are you doing what are you doing in there <laughs> Like, are you pooping? What are you doing? <laughs> He's like, nothing. Go away. I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> He's like, go away. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Funny. Uh, okay. Next thing I have, like, okay. I don't know if people, I don't know if you're a vegetarian or you're against, like, leather <laughs> uh, i have a crocodile wallet genuine crocodile skin i looked this up the prices range from you know like 25 to 100 dollars. so i'm doing this as an offer up um <laughs> oh my gosh oh my and so this um this is probably a small smaller uh, crocodile, as you can see by the skin of it. It's great condition. It's offer up, and I'm going to start this off at $22. Just because I could not find one exactly like this. They're actually pretty pretty rare. Um, there's not a ton of them. And I'm not sure whether this was made or how old it is, but it's great condition. It's going to start $22, and it's offer up. Oh, 
God. Why don't you open the door and find out? My husband <laughs> locks the door because he knows I'd open it like, what are you doing? So he locks it. Do you lock the door? <laughs> <laughs> My husband locks the door. I leave the door open. I mean, no one's upstairs. You know, no one's by the bathroom. He's like, why do you leave the door open? I said, well, I want fresh air to come in here. I don't want to be boxed myself in, you know. <laughs> so I leave it open. <laughs> Is that TMI? <laughs> Does anyone want this? Do people feel sorry for this crocodile? I know. It was probably a baby crocodile. I'm sorry. I didn't buy this new. I bought it used. Yeah, Dutch oven. Like, why am I going to Dutch oven myself? He's like, why don't you close the door? I'm like, I don't want to. I feel claustrophobic. I mean, sometimes I do, but <laughs> obviously. <laughs> this is kind of a very serious conversation. <laughs> okay, no, no one's interested in this, I think. Yeah, we've been married for like 15 years, so we're quite comfortable. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know he would never do that if he just started dating like a boyfriend or something. Like, oh my god, can you imagine? Like, you've been dating for three months, and the, the guy would be like, "Oh, <laughs> that's not attractive." Um, okay, I have some doilies. I tried to sell these before, and I'm adding something to it. Oh yeah, like baby shark. My husband leaves door when he comes. Oh yeah. So I have this doily here. Kind of has like little hearts. I didn't notice that. And you get a tiny little doily with it. You've probably seen these before. And I'm adding this. Oh, Cayman, smaller breed of a croc. Okay, my brother had one as they used to sell them in pet stores, but they grew to five feet long. Okay, that makes sense. So maybe it wasn't a baby. This is um, a towel. And it says like different kinds of things on it. Ivory soap is pure soap, Swedish hair power. I think it's supposed to look like it's vintage, but I think it might be newer. And for this little cute towel um, and the two doys, $7. I didn't write the number down. Oh, $7. Oh, crap. Hold on. <laughs> Seven. Uh. uh no, that's not right. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, guys. Seven dollars. Oh, number forty. Jeez, oh, just dropped my phone. Seven dollars, number forty. Ah. So, I think that was my two. Seven dollars for the three uh, linen things, number two. Yeah, it does kind of. Okay, so if no one's interested in that, I will move it along to Kim. All right. So I have a cute a white and pink creamer that I'm going to try to show again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Let's go. All right. So while it's trying to focus... Uh, it has like this ombre effect, okay? And um, uh, it's white and it has like a light pink here. It almost looks like a leaf, right? Like a maple yeah. leaf. Um, it's a very cute creamer. Um, and it's three and a half inches across. Please focus for me. <laughs> and it's two and a half inches tall. Um, there, It looks like some of the gold... Has, oh, there it's focusing. Looks like some of the gold has faded on the trim, like along the edges and the handle, but it's still pretty if you see it. It's like has that like light pink ombre effect. Um, and it's uh, so it's like white to light pink. And um, uh, yeah, very pretty. You could use it as a creamer or even add like some <laughs> to it for spring decor. Oh. <laughs> Auntie Christy, my most used F word. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and um, so. Uh, is this, it milk glass? Linda Punk is. Oh, actually. it's not. It's not milk glass. I think it's like porcelain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not milk glass. Um, 
But uh, some of the gold has faded off, but still pretty. You can put a flower, use it as a creamer. And this is $9, number 24. So $9, number 24. Okay. And uh, I have another offer up. And do you have any fairy lamps? Someone asked. I don't have any fairy mm -hmm. lamps tonight. I have no fairy lamps. I'm always trying to look for one. I know, me too. <laughs> but I always just see them in the antique stores. Um, behind the glass. Behind the glass or something. Yeah. <laughs> so I have yet to find one. So sorry. And I have another offer up. So uh, hold on. All right. So you guys ready for this? So this is going to start at $16. And it's an egg diorama. Okay. Um, hold on. <laughs> I don't, Pat might have to shine a light in it. Uh, you can see his face in there. <laughs> but I'll show you the, let me show you before. Okay, well, here you go. So if you look closely inside, there's a yellow bunny and a lamb and some pink flowers. Um, and uh, some fake grass. So if you can see, then has like a plastic, uh, um it's not glass over here it's plastic okay so you can turn it off now <laughs> i'll just show this part first and then this is how it looks like it looks like it's icing but it's not and it's clay um so i have belinda at 16. please keep in mind that this is very fragile so this uh uh is chipped over here when i found this uh I think that's, and then up there. I can't reach it right now, but I don't think that's chipped. I think that's like where they cut it off, but it looks like, it's like- It know, looks like cake. Yeah, yeah right? It looks like cake. the icing of a cake. It does. And yeah. it's just cute because you can see the bunny and the lamb inside. And uh, so we have Belinda at 16 and it just looks like cake all around. It does, oh my gosh. It's so does that's fun so every time i looked at it, i'm like oh it's like cake <laughs> it's heavy. have you ever watched the show nailed it on netflix uh no i ha i've seen a little bit of it but i've never watched that's a really funny show <laughs> <laughs> um so we have linda at what 16? 16. it's about baking yeah so i'm going to just keep in mind i will do my best to package this up carefully because i feel like if i put bubble wrap against this it might catch on <laughs> to the petals so i'm going to try to put like foam or something or tissue paper first and then wrap it carefully so this will be patrick will have to help me with this yeah. <laughs> so i'm gonna start calling it and counting down so we have belinda at 16 right um, so, um, going once, going twice, was sold to, uh, Belinda for 16 for the cute egg diorama that looks like hey, congratulations. <laughs> oh, um, number 12. Kim, are you seeing this? Oh, oh I see. Sue. Sue came in. Oh. Okay. Um. What are we doing? Uh, should I continue it? <laughs> um, oh, Sue, they kind of called up for Belinda, but um, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, Kim. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, Sue, I, I called it for Belinda, and I saw you came later. That's the thing about this. <laughs> um, so... Oh. Uh, Sue says, okay, enjoy Belinda. Oh, oh, but then Belinda said she can have it. Okay, <laughs> so, okay, so, okay. um, is this going to Belinda? We... Sue was in prior to the call. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Belinda says she can have it, so, should we start it again? Okay, um... So, no, Belinda says Sue can have it. So 
Well, maybe sell it to Sue for 17 then, okay, if, okay. if Belinda says to have it. Okay. okay. Thank you, Sue. Um, and Sue, I'm just let you know, I'm going to do my best to carefully wrap it because the just keep in mind that these flower petals are really fragile. So I will do my best. So <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm going to give it to Sue since yes. she does okay with it for seventeen dollars. Thank you, Sue. Item number? Item num oh Sue, it's um number twelve. Okay. 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 Uh Sue, I'm giving it to you because Belinda said she's okay with it. So yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sue said meet you at Route Three. Is she she from Brigham? Huh? Sue. Oh Sue, are you in New Jersey? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I was wondering, like, what does that mean? Route three. <laughs> route three. Yeah, there's a Route Three highway over here. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so okay. much, Linda. That was uh, sweet of you. I'm sorry, Stephanie. <laughs> That's okay. I was like, uh, I don't know what to do. Oh, like, you you're know. on your own. <laughs> um, I have a. Um, it's look. It's a artisan. What am I? Oh, there. Glass piece, like with these beautiful brown swirls. And I put some lights in it. I mean, it has, like, it has big battery thing in it. But let me see if I can show you, like, what it looks like with twinkle lights. Um, hold on. See, isn't that beautiful? So that kind of gives you an idea. I think these lights aren't working. But anyways, it gives you an idea of what it would look like with twinkle lights. And so this is a pretty thick glass. It's like kind of a orangish brownish color. It is signed 2000, um, uh, hold on. Bay Glass Townsend to uh, Mount MT, I think 2012. Oh no, Goose Bay Glass Townsend 2012. It's etched on the bottom, it's hard to read but so it was made 2012 probably like a boutique piece but it's real pretty and i'll take the pinkle lights out there's the inside of it and this is going to be 12 dollars number 34 and it is about five inches tall yeah i could i guess i mean you could you could do like this if you wanted to but that so twelve dollars number thirty four. That's so pretty. Yeah, I just I thought this just really I don't know. I'm really getting into glass. Yeah. <laughs> glass art, glass uh pieces and stuff. Starting to really appreciate it. Okay, so that was twelve dollars number thirty four. <sighs> uh next up I have some fun jewelry. Nuts! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Erin, a glass vase for squirrels. There you go. It's the color of squirrels. Um, I have these two necklaces. Oh, where's my my loop? I had my loop. Oh, God. Now I can't find it. Um, no, it says something. It signs something. It's turquoise. I don't believe these are real chips. They're just supposed to be made look like chips. Turquoise and silver tone necklace. It's pretty long. If you want to know the length, it is um, 17 inches long. So, oh God, two times 17. <laughs> you do the math. And then also comes with, I don't know what brand this is. Here's the initials, like an A or something. And it's like kind of like a silver chain necklace. And they go, I mean, I think they kind of go together in a way, silver and turquoise. But for the two necklaces, $14, number 42. $14, number 42. Seven bucks each. And I'm shipping from Washington State. If you guys have been just been popping in. And Kim is shipping from New Jersey. Okay, that was my two. Oh, okay. So the next item I have is this light pink glass. Um, you can't really see it, but it is a light pink 
no it's okay it's a light pink uh diamond point salt cellar so you put your salt in there it's coming off as clear but it has like a very light pink tint to it um i don't think if you could see that you can kind of see the light pink see it <laughs> so it's very pretty um this there's no chips or cracks it's two inches tall and three inches across okay so it's light pink and um this is a uh, nine dollars number two so nine dollars number two for the pretty um diamond point salt cellar that you can put your salt in there pepper <laughs> whatever you want in there um or even like little candies or little flowers so uh nine dollars number two and then um i will do my i think this is my last offer of right yes yes um so, hold on one second this one i gotta use two hands for <laughs> Okay. So, um, you probably if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw my Instagram post today, and um, you saw the video. So I have. Well, hold on. I don't want to drop this. So this is an offer up for this cute um set of four bunnies. <laughs> Uh, on a swing set with a, a tree branch. So this is uh, with a flowers. Well, I'm gone. <laughs> Patrick is trying to show you <laughs> how it looks. disappeared. I know. So this is starting at eighteen dollars. I'm gonna try to show a close up of them, but this is starting at eighteen dollars. And they're swinging. <laughs> and then if you look, it's okay. If you look closely, um, I don't know if I can focus, but there's like little birds and squirrels and um, little chicks. And then there's this chick that <laughs> playing the uh, accordion, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it's just so cute, perfect for Easter. So I see Lana, Lana Mortsfield for 18. Nice and then swing. I'll show you the back. I'm going to slowly. Uh, it. Looks like Stacy offered two. I know. <laughs> That's like, my typo. Two dollars. <laughs> Here's the back of it. Um, and from what I can see, there's no chips or, or cracks. Um, there's like a lot of details going on, but. Yeah, there's nothing broken. So if you want to put more than 18, put more than 18. <laughs> um, <laughs> and they're just swinging. I love that the girl is standing on the swing. Oh, wait, um, Stacy Stacy wanted the salt cellar, the number two. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you, Stacy. I'll write you down, Stacy. So Stacy wants number two. Thank you. Um. So I see Barbley at 20 and then Lana at 21. Perfect for Easter. And then even, you know, cute to keep using for um for a spring decor. So we have Lana at 21. And um and I just love that there's like flowers around the tree trunks. You can see that, and then there's flowers like on the grass. I think Barbie is out. Okay. okay, so we have Lana at 21. So, um, uh, by the way, this is um, obviously you see I'm holding it with two hands, <laughs> so it's six inches by six inches. Um, right? Oh no, <laughs> oh sorry, that's not six inches. Sorry, um, obviously I was measuring this late at night and I don't remember. Well, okay, so we have Lana 21. This is Pavel measured. Wow. 12, okay. I don't know why I put six by six. Six, <laughs> six. six plus six yeah. is 12. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. So 
So, Lana, I'm going to, uh, I have 21 for you. So, I'm going to start calling it. So, if anyone wants to put more, I'm going to start calling it. So, going once, going twice, and um, sold to Lana Mortsfield for $21. Congrats. Thank you. Uh, oh, I'm, is yeah. that two? Yes. Okay. Sorry, my kids just started baseball tonight, so like I'm texting my husband and stuff. Um, and I just found out the practices are going to be every Tuesday night for a while. Oh. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out what to do because I usually have these sales, and um, it's kind of like confusing. Um, okay, so this is going to offer up. This is mid century. If you guys are a fan of Mad Men, mid century, you can, like this is totally mid century. And it's coasters. I wish Patrick was here. <laughs> um, look at these. Is that so? Look at that starburst clock. These oh, are coasters. Cool. They're, they're really easy to clean because you can take them out like that. So there's eight of them, and they come in this carrying thing. Some of them do have some wear where the gold is coming off, so keep that in mind. Um, they come nicely stacked like this. Definitely perfect for like a mid-century home. Um, I looked these up. I cannot find these anywhere online. I found one similar as like nautical um, on eBay, but I could not find this. So I'm doing it as an offer up. Yeah, Atomic. I know. Where's Jamie? I love Star Wars. <laughs> this is from the Coaster Corporation from Sarasota, Florida. So they are known for making awesome coasters offer up and it's going to start at $16 for this mid-century popular coaster company but this is so rare that I could not find it online if you can find it let me know because I found one similar but not the clock and it's starting at $16 offer up I know where's mid-century wasted <laughs> 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 but I just think that's cool. And then like, it's, it's like a conversation piece. I mean, some of these do have wear. They were used, which is great. You know, we love things that get some wear out of them. But I mean, if you, you didn't want to like make them as coasters, you could do some fun crafting with these and take these out and do something fun with them. Like, I don't, I don't know. Get your... But I thought these were cool. And um, if these don't sell here, most likely I'll try to put them on eBay. eBay. I don't want to do that, though. That's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much work. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pepper. Maybe. Mary Beth Pepper Pines. Quick, someone get one of them. Okay. I don't see any offers. If you guys change your mind or they pop on, let me know. Uh, okay, next I have this little guy. He's a tiny little guy. He's a germ, ugh. a gobel, whatever with this, Friar Tuck, Germany Monk Tiny Creamer. That's how I researched it. <laughs> so Germany, he's gobel. He's signed on the bottom. Can you see that? Um, and he's got that little side eye. He's great condition. Hand, I believe he's hand painted. He is ten dollars, number twenty nine. Ten dollars, number twenty nine. Little Friar Tuck, Goble. Yeah, I can't believe baseball season is starting. It's like, oh my gosh, this is gonna mess up my schedule. Crafty Deck, you got it. All right, that was my two items. Oops. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Sarah Lee. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so uh, of course, my my uh, whenever I do a live sale, I always show a scarf. So this one's perfect for spring decor, uh, springtime, and spring decor. <laughs> so it's this um, orange and yellow, uh, pink floral white sheer scarf 
and it has scalloped edges. It's in excellent condition. I'm trying to show you the whole thing. <laughs> and it's 42 <laughs> inches long uh, and 11 inches wide. And um, uh, you can wear this in your hair like so, like cute, this. Okay. Look, it goes with my oh, cute. I, uh, floral uh, uh, gallery wall. Yeah. <laughs> um, or you could wear it uh like in your ponytail i don't have one on but you get the idea just let it flow in the wind <laughs> in the ponytail a, around, there. around your neck or on uh i like tying it around a purse as well you know dress it up so this is uh very pretty it almost looks like they're like painted on but it's not it's just like a print like they make it look like it's painted um so this is 15 dollars for the pretty scarf, fifteen dollars, number eleven. So fifteen dollars, number eleven for the pretty scarf. Okay, and then I see Susan Funderburg. Okay, thank you, Susan. Um, you're new to me, so please just make sure you email me your information at um at omvintage at gmail.com, scrolling across the screen. Okay, so this is good, thank you. And then the other item I have, oh, you did, okay, thank you, Susan. Um, the next item I have is this yellow and brown um, uh, duck lidded dish, I'm going to, try to show again <laughs> so uh yeah it looks like it has like those brown like painted uh, uh what Pins? no like it's like like the, like brown oh. yeah like brush, stroke. brush strokes so i was trying to think of the word <laughs> um and uh this is an excellent condition the outside's in perfect condition it's just underneath here it looks like I don't know, it's um, like the paint is chipped off thing. or whatever, but it's the inside is um, in good condition as well. Is there a maker? Someone's asking. Oh, this is what it says on the bottom. Patrick and I were trying to figure this out. Hold on. Let's try this again. And for a second there, it looked like it said Vienni, but it looked like they put it over the signage on the bottom and it says does anyone know what i don't know what that says and it's not focusing for me of course <laughs> um Focus. story of my life uh on live uh, but it said some like pat i tried google doing google photo and it said like all it said copyright and then they sent showed us photos of like tattoos in cursive like that doesn't help <laughs> So, anyway, so this is cute for your spring decor. There, now it's focusing. Hello. Show them. So I'm going to show you the signage while I got in focus. Hold on. Please stay there. So there, uh, if you guys can tell me what that says, uh, you got great eyes. <laughs> so obviously we saw this part. It says Vienni, I think. I don't know. But the rest of it, I, I couldn't really read it. So if you guys know what it says, let us know. So this cute little duck, perfect for Easter decor, has like that yellow, uh, greenish um, uh, color. It's a little dish, so you could put whatever you want in it. Cheese, candy, secret stash. Um, <laughs> secret stash. Yeah, secret stash of hiding from stuff. You know, maybe you want to hide your the favorite candies from your kids. That you don't want them to eat <laughs> have it all for yourself so it's um four and a half inches across and it's four inches tall and this is um fifteen dollars number 23. so fifteen dollars number 23. was that your two uh yes yeah this card oh yes okay sorry uh, i had to do something <laughs> um we're trying to figure out how I can keep my Tuesday night sales. And I'm thinking maybe getting grandmas to help. 
That might be something I have to look into. My kids are like old enough to be at home by themselves for a couple hours, but I'm not comfortable leaving them by themselves at a baseball field with like no one there, you know, kind of thing. Like yeah. before the practice, like in between ages, if you guys are, you know, know about that stuff. Anyways, my next thing is to offer up. It is a little blue uh, hobnail. What do you call these? Like a toothpick holder or something? But I thought it'd be really cute, like with a little tea light. Um, see, isn't that kind of... <laughs> I don't know. You can kind of see it. I don't know. I just thought it's so delicate and pretty. And it doesn't glow. And I'm throwing in this beautiful hand-painted egg. I think it's like an enamel over wood. Look at it. Look at the job they did. That is an artist. I thought it just kind of went. Like you could even display it like that with your other items. It's an offer up. And I'm going to start this off at $12. For the little hobnail glass, um, I don't know, toothpick holder. I'm not sure what they call these. And it is just like three and a half inches tall. Q-tips, yes. Q-tips in the bathroom. Um, I don't know. You could put anything in here and look really pretty. It has these two little marks here, but I don't know what those are. Maybe just like a manufacturer yeah. thing. <laughs> Um, Cindy's at 12, Uncle Andy at 12, you'd have to do, and Amy is 12, so that to be 13 would be the next offer. I don't see any signature. Comes with, I don't know, doesn't this egg just totally go with the hobnail? Yeah. <laughs> I think like the colors just like go perfectly. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that Fenton, right? Yeah, blue Fenton. I always get confused. Like, is it Fenton? Is it? If, it, if they don't have the tag, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Sure, it's Fenton. That's perfect for Easter. I love the blue. Yes. Okay, this is going to sound stupid, but when is Easter? <laughs> oh, April 4th. So it's April 4th. 4th. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's coming soon. <laughs> oh, no hutch for your new house. Oh, wow. Uh... I see Cindy's thrifting is at 14. Anchor Hawking Moonstone. Ooh, that sounds that sounds nice. <laughs> Doesn't that whole name sound nice? Yeah. Anchor Hawking Moonstone. This does look like Moonstone because it's like white. Um, would anyone like to offer 15? Cindy's at 14. Oh, you can kind of see the I just have this tea light. <laughs> Is it blue? Yes. Let me turn off this light. Let me see if you can see it better. It's blue with like kind of like a moonstone look on the top. Uh, Uncle Andy is out. Would anyone like else like to offer? Comes with this egg. Beautiful hand painted. Oh, okay, then it's not Moonstone. Okay, well, the top kind of is because the top is like white and kind of iridescent. See? Okay, Fenton. Okay. Um, so, any other offers? If not, I'm going to call for Cindy unless I see something. Cindy was at 14. I see anyone? Uh, 14. Okay, so Cindy, I'm going to call it for. Lost my pen. Oh, crap. I lost my pen. Can you guys see my pen? <laughs> uh, I have one here, Stephanie. Just grab it. Got, just mail it to me. You guys have to wait. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on. Where did my pen go? Hold on, guys. <laughs> okay, found it. Do, do we get any other offers? No. Okay, so, wait, what was Cindy at? Um, no chips. 14. 14. Okay, so I'm calling it for Cindy for 14. No other offers.
Um, all right, congratulations, Cindy. Woohoo, Cindy. Was was that two? Or uh, that one? What did you show? The blue fence, the glass. Is that one? Yeah, this one. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember. What's the other one that you showed? I oh, don't know. Just show another one. <laughs> okay. I can't remember. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I don't. I got confused with the pen. We <laughs> losing the pen. Uh, hold on. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, someone said you showed one. Yeah. That's what I. Oh, okay, yeah. just one. Okay, thanks, guys. <laughs> um, I have a very dainty doily doily set, and so the first is this heart doily. This is so mm -hmm. precious. That's so cute. It's a beautiful heart, and then with it, I'm selling this. I've never seen one like this before. It's a, it's a lady. It's two ladies. And it's pink and blue. Oh. Do you see? Yeah, I see. That's the, the back of her. She's touching her head with her arm. And same lady, her twin. It's not so, I, I mean, I just love it. Someone worked so hard to make this. So for these two little dainty doilies, $10, number 27. $10, number 27. And so that was two. Okay. Okay, so the next item I have is um, a baby album in its original box. As you can see, there's somewhere on the box, on the edges over there. Okay, I'll show the book in a second, but you'll get the original box. As you can see, there's, there's like a thing there somewhere of <laughs> age over here but um has like a cute lamb chick and a bear and i think that's a dog mm -hmm. i think so <laughs> um and then let me show you the inside so i thought it was cute for you know someone who's having a baby or um even just for display for easter and it says baby's album so it has a pretty blues and cute pink. And then there's the back of this. So it's like a scrapbook. It's never been used, but the pages do have some age to it with the, the color of it. So it says our baby's picture album. So you put all the info of the baby. Um, and I thought it's cute. Look, there's even like a cute camera in the corner. <laughs> and a baby with like, uh, I think that's a bunny in the other corner. Mm -hmm. Um, but you could even use this as a junk journal if you wanted to. But that's the first page, and obviously the other pages are blank. So you can fill it with whatever. So just keep in mind there is some age to the pages, but you can use it for junk journaling um, or just put, you know, pictures of the baby and give it as a present or use it for uh, Easter uh, display. Um so this is 11 and a half inches across and seven and a half inches uh, this way. Um, so this is, uh, you'll get this with the box. Um, and this is um, uh, $15, number 20, $15, number 20. Okay. Um, and then my, the next item I have <coughs> is, uh, okay, the next item I have is this pretty, um, here we go, let's go, okay, is this pretty dish, and it's a white and light purple floral, uh, Theodore, Havilland, I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> Limoges, <laughs> France, uh, with gold trim. Uh, and it's so beautiful. It has like these little handles along the, like over here along the edges, but it's, this is how it looks. So it's kind of like sunken in. So 
You know, you can put whatever you want in there. But look how pretty the flowers are. You can even use it as a backdrop. Um, put your cheese, whatever, candies <laughs> for Easter. And uh, so this is from Limoges, um, France. And this is uh, under eight inches across in diameter. So um, this is $15, number eight. $15, number eight for the pretty Limoges, France uh, dish. Okay. And that was my two. Okay. I see uh, Uncle Andy. Thank you, Uncle Andy. And Sarah Lee Coleman, you got the, the, what did you get? <laughs> the um, Foilies. Yay. Okay, next up, I have this really cute cardboard Easter egg. It opens up and inside is filled with jewelry. So inside you will get a mixture of jewelry, things like, Everything's tangled. <laughs> um, things, ah, things like the pendant, um, cute little ring. Um, there's like it's all filled. Ah, earrings like the, you know little piece earrings with flowers. Can you kind of see that? Um, little turquoise bracelet. I don't know. So it's like a grab bag of jewelry. See? Ah. See in there? Like a little cute uh, vintage brooch. So it's hard to show. So you get this grab bag of jewelry and the Easter egg for $14, number 37. $14, number 37. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Isn't that from a movie or show? Okay. Isn't that from something? Um, Susan, you got it. Uh, Thunderbird. Yeah, where is that from when they say that? that yeah, movie? that sounds so familiar. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, yeah, South Park. Oh, he says, mm okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Subconsciously must be coming out out in me because i don't watch i haven't watched south park probably for like 15 years oh, no. okay. <laughs> um next up is uh two what do you call these uh cheese like cheesecloth towels um you know they they kind of feel like linen is it a tea towel a oh, tea towel that's what i mean isn't oh. this kind of like a tea towel yeah that thinner kind of lininy feel Ooh. This is crepe Suzette's, and it's uh has the recipe, and then it has this little kind of like Dutch lady with her recipe, red, white, and blue, perfect decor for Fourth of July, and then with it, I'm throwing this beautiful embroidered. Um, I don't know if this is like a napkin or a towel, but you, do you see the embroidery? It's like a light tan. Let me turn the light off for a second. Can you see it better? Like nice. that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's on both sides. So for the two of them, $8, number 41. <laughs> $8, number 41. Oh, I have a mixture for making crepes I got at Costco, and I've only made them like two times. They, they came out okay. They don't come <laughs> out like in the restaurants. <laughs> Uh, Tippy Winks Vintage, you got it, number 41. Yay, Tippy. All Hi, right. Tippy. <laughs> hey, Kim, it's your turn. All right. So I have, um, I think it's a hound dog. <laughs> uh, here you go. It's a cute little hound dog. If it's not, I'm sorry, you can correct me. So it's in a basket, in a brown basket. And it says on the bottom, Royal Dalton. I think I'm saying that right, I hope. Um, there's no chips or cracks. It's made in England. I'm glad it's in focus. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, um, uh, it's bow in China. So you can see the signage down there. So a cute doggy. Um, 
And uh, this cute doggy in the basket is uh, nine dollars, number oops, fourteen. So nine dollars, number fourteen. Take this cute little doggy in the basket. So nine dollars, number fourteen. And then I see Belinda Carroll. Thank you, Belinda. You were in the. Oh, I didn't catch them. Don't sing. <laughs> I just saw Vinny's. Uh, uh, yeah, that's what I thought too. And then the other um, uh, second item I have is a set of two, here we go, foil plastic coated playing cards in its original case. And uh, it has a silver glitter. If you look closely. And um, please keep, keep in mind that there are two minor cracks over here, but I mean, I just love the silver glitter and has the original sticker tag in the back. Um, and then uh, there is a crack, right? Like a small minor scratch, like crack here. Oh my gosh, everything's opposite on StreamYard. <laughs> I know. I I'm like, am I? Am I, am I oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know what's right and left. <laughs> it's right there, okay? <laughs> but I'm going to uh, show you the cards. Um, so this is, you'll get this one, this green and purple floral playing card. There you go. Okay. And the, here's the, this is the Joker. Um, is she riding a swan? That's what I thought. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I don't know. He's riding a swan and he's holding a staff that looks like his face. Yeah, so he's full of himself. <laughs> Holy um, moly. <laughs> so you get that guy's creepy. <laughs> well, and then and it's beautiful. Um, the flowers are beautiful. Yeah. I mean, the, these cards have been used, so you might see some creases on them. And then the other card you'll get is like these fi um, uh, fishes, this fish. <laughs> um, these would make a great card uh, package toppers. Right? Too, yeah. If you want to do that. And there's okay. like these shells. It's a complete set. Yes, it's a complete set. Um, And this Joker is much uh, cuter. <laughs> He's, uh, he's riding in a moon. <laughs> Why are they always riding something? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, They're um, always riding something. Show, show, show the jokers side by side. <laughs> I don't know. Which one do you... <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, that poor swan. I know. I think I like the moon one, moon one uh, better. I like the, the moon. moon one's uh, cuter with the stars. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but at least this is pretty. <laughs> yeah. Um, and just keep in mind, you know, they have been used. Uh, so this was the only, like, uh, really creased one. Like, I guess they were really shuffling this card. <laughs> <laughs> right, <I'm> cowboy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you'll get the set of these two cards in the original case. Um, there is, like, a sticker tag here that it had on, but I didn't want to remove. It's kind of hard to remove, but. Um, this is uh, $10, and I can't find the, I can't, oh, here, $10 um, for number three for the two, and you'll get the, the two jokers riding the swan. Riding and stuff, swan. riding a swan. And... <laughs> so $10, number three. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, those are my two. Okay. Did you ever hear that dirty song? Say, <laughs> save a horse, ride a cowboy. Oh, <laughs> have you heard that? That was, on the, that was on, it played on the radio, and I, I it came out when I first started dating my husband. Or oh, he introduced me to it, and I'm like, oh my god! I'm like, how are they able to pay, play this on the radio? I don't understand. So it's a catchy tune. Just yeah. the, Lyrics are oh my lord! I see Michelle Ann for number three. You get the Joker's riding the moon and the sun. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle Ann. Um, I got these two crocheted little washcloths. 
I've seen these at bazaars and stuff. These are great for like washing dishes, um, cleaning stuff, all that stuff. There's two of them. And I'm just pricing these at $6, number 35. $6, number 35. Some person worked really hard to make these and I saved them. <laughs> Michelle, $6. You Michelle, you saved the horse. <laughs> you saved the <a> horse. <laughs> and you, did you ever hear that song? I think I have. I have to look for it now after you. <laughs> like, how can you play that in front of your kids and be like, what? I don't understand, you know? <laughs> They'd be like, I'm so confused. And then be like, oh, Lord. Okay, so I see Michelle Ann. Oh, you can use them in a the shower. Okay, Barb, I didn't know that. I, I always thought about like cleaning dishes and stuff with these. Michelle Ann gets the two knit washcloths. Okay, so that was one. The horse, right? Oh, God. The horse, right? Right, color. Oh, that. Um, no. Save a hose, right? Uh, where's the. Okay, I can't find the tag for this. What is this? So this is a vintage. Um, oh, I see it. This is a vintage uh, piggy bank. So you would put like your little coin here and it slides down, kind of hits this pin oh, so and then drops beautiful. down into the piggy bank. So it has a dime in it. It's missing the stopper. So I just put tape there. It says pin money bank because these are pins. 300, my goal. And it, it does have a little bit of weight to it. And it does have a little bit of wear, like a little chip there. Um, but this is going to be $15, number 49. $15, number 49. That's so cool, Stephanie. I love it. Yeah, I <laughs> like this. It's a great find. Oh. Oh, great exfoliators. Oh, Vinny, what? Okay. I'm thinking of what, what song? Oh, Aunt Christy, you got it. 49. And yes, just to let you guys know, if you purchased um, from my sale a few days ago, I can, because that was a pop-up sale. I haven't sent out invoices. So if you do buy from me tonight and you bought from my sale a couple of days ago, I can combine the shipping. So I haven't done anything yet. Um, just, just a heads up on that. Uh, was that? That was two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I have a ornament it's like a light blue and orange like pin tut um embroidered egg ornament with a, a blue satin ribbon at the top so if you look closely uh they're like little chicks that are embroidered mm. with yellow and orange chicks and there's like little lace on the bottom and I'm gonna try to show it again because that's just how it goes. Oh, that's <laughs> sweet. Right, isn't it so cute? Um, so yeah, it just keeps going around. There you go. It keeps going around and around and around um, with the embroidered uh, chicks. So it has like a light powdery blue uh, fabric as the background. And like orange thread going throughout uh, along the trim. So this cute egg ornament is twelve dollars, and it is number nine. So twelve dollars, number nine, and it's really light. So twelve dollars, number nine for the cute embroidered egg ornament. The technique is called smocking. Oh, smocking. That's what. Yeah, I thought it was. Fintech. <laughs> so twelve dollars, um, number nine for this. And uh, the next item I have is another egg. <laughs> Trying to get all the eggs for Easter, and uh, this is a 
a light yellow floral a painted egg. Sorry, hold on. If you can kind of see that, it has like light yellow, let's cover my face. <laughs> light yellow, uh, like roses with like green leaves. And then it would like sit like this because there's a hole on the bottom here. It's a pretty floral painted egg. Sorry about the focus, but you can kind of see it. Um, there's no chips or cracks. Um, there is just some normal wear just on the bottom. And this is $10 numbered. $10 number six for the pretty uh, floral painted egg with the yellow roses. And those were my so Vinny says he's starting a um fairy lamp collection that's cool i hardly ever find fairy lamps in the wild um i don't know if like i'm not going to the right places but do you guys find fairy lamps out in the wild like i don't even see them that often in antique malls it's crazy yeah. i've only seen it at like an antique store and i yeah. I got one. Um, I, ha I only see them online. <laughs> yeah, online. I don't even see them in antique stores. Like, I see maybe one or two, but I don't think they're like, I don't know, where I live, like, really pop, like, I don't know, out there. Yeah. Um, I have three golden books. Some of these are kind of as is, is this caring, but the pictures, graphics are awesome. And it's going to be three of them in this lot. This one is from 1976 it's a remake and then i have this one here it has a little bit of writing but the graphic oh no you're freezing stephanie oh there you are okay <laughs> um the graphics are awesome this is from 1972, and then the last one is, I think that it, it is wonderful, Sesame Street. This is from 1984, and I think it's in pretty good condition. Probably the best condition of all three, I mean, somewhere. But um, you get three of them for $6, number 50. Oh, my gosh, you thought eight last time you were out? Holy moly. Oh, wow. Yeah, I actually, before these YouTube lifestyles, I didn't even know what a fairy lamp was. I found part of one. I'm like, what is this? Yeah. Like, it's part of a fairy lamp. I'm like, what the heck is a fairy lamp? <laughs> uh, and then and now it's like a big thing. Okay, so I see Susan for the books. But even now that I know what they are, my heart... I rarely see them. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh yeah, especially like back in, back in the day, like in the seventies, like nice romantic dinners. They would have them on the tables. I think I you know what you're talking about. Okay, um, is this my last item? I think this is my last item. Is that right? So I have yeah, I have one more item. So. Okay, so this is my last item. So what you get is this colorful, ah, I don't know what the name of this is, something. Colorful necklace long, and the, the plastic beads look like sparkly candies. Isn't that Ooh. fun? They're not glass, they're <laughs> acrylic. It's real long. And then I'm going to throw in this silver and, I don't know, kind of pale pinkish and gray beaded necklace. Again, this is one that you could double up. I'm going to turn the light off for a minute so you can see it better. Can you see it better? Can I see the color? Yeah, I see it. So you get... Now it's too dark. <laughs> <laughs> you get the... <laughs> Two necklaces for a ten dollars number thirty-three. Oh no, they ruined it with the tape. That's so frustrating. Oh. 
I hate when you do that. I know. You know what? Goodwill has done that before, like with books. They'll put the tag on the book and you try to get it off. Like now I know how to get it off, but like it peels the book apart or like they've done that like on uh, hand painted pieces and it'll like pull the paint off. I hate that. Okay, thrifting in the hauler, you got it. Okay. 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 And this is my last item. I have, um, here we go. We, yeah, got it. <laughs> so it's a light pink and like cranberry, like purpley, like. <laughs> rose uh they're painted uh flowers um and it's a trinket dish with like gold trim and a light green uh, painted background it's so pretty um and then there's the initial says oh. like, gc in the back Something kim i do have more stuff Oh, this one's my last one. Okay. I can just reshow stuff that didn't sell. <laughs> so it has okay. these pretty like scalloped edges and you can see the gold trim. It's so beautiful. Um, letting you have some pretties. I can't keep all of the pretties in the world. <laughs> uh, so I'm sharing them for you. So you put whatever you want, like your jewelry or catch all tray, your keys, whatever. Um, and this is uh, six inches across uh, and four and three eighth inches uh, that away. <laughs> and this pretty trinket dish, uh, this floral painted trinket dish with gold trim is $15, number 18. $15, number 18. Okay, and that's my last item. Okay. Um, I've never found a fairy lamp in Seattle ever. See, maybe West Coast uh, fairy lamps aren't as um, as as around much. I don't know. Maybe it's a West Coast thing. Uh, Southern Marina, do you want to put number 42 up? I would get the silver chain necklace. If not, no worries. Um, yeah, I can do that. Hold on one second. Um, hold on one second, because that was old. I, I want to show this. This is a giant craft lot that um, I'm selling all together. And you will get, like, kits for scrapbooking. You will get, um, look at these fun, brand new stickers. Whole bunch of them. Oh, nice. Stickers. You'll get, um, here's, like, a little beaded uh, kit. <laughs> Swarovski elements, um, stickers like this. I threw in some beautiful wrapping paper even. This is, um, they don't make this anymore. Lion King piece of wrapping paper, you know, what is it called? <laughs> old school. And um, I'll, I'm also throwing in some old patterns. A lot of people use these for crafting, some patterns, things like that. So. You get a whole lot of crafting stickers, papers, things like that. $14, number 46. $14, number 46. That was my actually last item. Um, <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. And so, oh, oh that's um, popular. Yeah. Daisy, I see Daisy <laughs> Serreras was first. Um, and let's see. And then, oh, job. I should have done that as offer up. <laughs> Darn it. That's okay. That's good. You got a good deal. Um, Southern Mermaid, do you want to split 42 up? You wanted the silver necklace. So if I split that up, the silver necklace would be $7 because for the two of them, 14. So I can do that. Another mermaid. And um, do you guys want us to reshow things that didn't sell? 
Um, so that is the end of our stuff that we that we had for sale. But there are some things that didn't sell. Yeah. What you guys want to comment below if you're just tuning in or wants to show anything? Maybe for like ten minutes, we could show re show some stuff. Okay. I see people. Yes, saying please. Yes. So it didn't sell. Yes, please. And thank you. Okay, Kim, you want to show um some things yeah. that didn't sell? Uh yes. Okay. So um item I did is a, a light pink and yellow floral egg tin. Uh, very pretty. Has some normal wear on the back, as well as um on the inside. There you guys are. Very pretty. Use it for Easter. Um, and it has like this like light pink rope thingamajig. <laughs> um, but it's very pretty. Um, for Easter and spring. So I had this for um ten dollars. I could do this for eight dollars, number four. So I could do eight dollars, number four. Okay, uh, and then the other item I have is uh, this. I see Polly projects. Polly it. projects. Thank you, Polly. Okay, um, the other item I have. Oops, here we go. Is this light blue elephant figurine that says Japan? It's so tiny. <laughs> Has the Japan signage on the leg. I'm going to try to show it one more time. Hello. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> there's no chips or cracks. It's very cute. And um, I had this. Has Japan on the, the on its leg and the trunks up. Good luck. So this was eight dollars. I could do um six dollars for the elephant figurine. It's light blue and it is number ten. So I could do six dollars um for the cute little elephant figurine for number ten. So I see Rose Spangenberg. You get that for six dollars. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh no, you're good. <laughs> okay. Um, so I have this as an offer up. This is that genuine crocodile wallet. I had it as an offer up, but I can do a straight price of twenty-two dollars for the genuine crocodile wallet. Instead of offer up, I'll just off I'll just offer <laughs> just ask twenty twenty two dollars for this. It's like an excellent condition. I mean it does have a little bit of wear. Mm. But I mean look at it, it's real clean. If you wanna look fancy. <laughs> um did I oh did I say number? Uh we'll just say number forty three, twenty two dollars. So if you want this number $43.22. Um, and then this did not sell. This very nice creamy artisan glass piece. It is signed. It is from Goose Bay Glass Townsend, 2000, uh, Townsend, 2012 so most likely like from a kind of like a boutique i'm imagining it's beautiful and let's see it is five inches tall and i had it for 12 like so for 11 uh 11 dollars uh number 34 11 dollars mm -hmm. number 34 looks really pretty with um I feel like the lights aren't doing it justice. <laughs> it looks really pretty with twinkle lights in it. So eleven dollars number thirty-four. And those are two things it didn't sell. Hi. <laughs> um Hi. so uh, I saw Tippy Winks vintage. You're asking about the painted trinket dish. I just wanted to give everyone a Pants. Um. So, uh, yeah, this is um, this was fifteen dollars. I could do it for 
Yes, I could do it for $12. Uh, if you want to type in number 18, Christy, Tippy Winks, just type in 18. Um, I could do this for $12. Just, yeah, just type it in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do it. <laughs> yeah, I see you. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. Thanks, Christy. Um, no, no, no worries, Christy. It's fine. So going to you. It's so beautiful giving you one of the pretties. <laughs> um, and then, uh, hold on one second. Okay, the other item that didn't sell was this uh, Demitas Cup. And saucer. I'm pretty sure it's a Demitas cup because it's kind of short and it has like floral, um, uh, has gold trim and like pretty flowers. Let me just show you the plate, it has these pretty details. I'm going to try to focus. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> it has gold trim and then you can see just the inside has the same pretty like raised like detail along the edges and has gold trim um so you can get this pretty gold demitas cup i had it for i had it for um ten dollars but i could do eight dollars for this for number one so ten dollar uh, eight dollars sorry we do this for eight dollars number one for the pretty uh cup and saucer so those are my two items. Okay. <laughs> so these didn't sell. It was this tiny little doily. And then this beautiful doily with the hearts around it. It looks like an eye. <laughs> Someone said it looked like an eye. And this little uh, tea towel that kind of has the pink writing all over it. Kind of has a vintage look. I don't think it's vintage. I think it's like boutique-y. And for the three items I have for seven, I can do for six dollars. Um, six dollars. Hold on. Oh, six dollars, number forty. Six dollars, number forty. Oh yes, I seen that done. Uh, candles in the pretty tea cups. That would be awesome. Or making um, pin cushions in the little tea cups. I've seen that too. I wanted to do that. So the doilies in the little tea towel, six dollars, number forty. And then um, this poodle planter uh, didn't sell. I had it as an offer up, but. Um, I could do a straight up price. Hold on. Um, I could do uh, sixteen dollars straight up price, no offer up for the poodle planter. Very sturdy. It's got it does have some crazing, but it's very sturdy. Not marked on it, but a lot of times the nice pieces are not marked. <laughs> Look at that little poodle. Nice and clean, $16. And does have some crazing, but still in really good condition. And Kim, do you have anything else? Uh, yeah, I have a bunch of stuff. Oh. <laughs> so, I mean, if you're still going. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I have these uh, two tins. Um, I'm selling them. Uh, two people can get a chance at these suit crets. Oh, Tippy Winks Vintage. Did you want the planter? Oh. It's sixteen dollars, number forty. It wasn't off. Or wait, wait, was it? Wait, wait what number was it? Uh, Thirty-two. She's she's typing in sixteen. Oh, okay. Uh, Sorry, I got it. I got you. Okay, Kim, go ahead. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's no, fine. So I have um, this Sucrets tin. It's an antiseptic throat lozenges, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> tin. It has like that dark navy blue um, 
color on it and it does have some wear along the edges i have two of these um so just keep in mind it uh so if you like to collect tins it has some age to it but i think it's cool for your collection so um i had six dollars on these i i can do five each so um the first two people well here you go we'll get this for five dollars now so two people can get it if you type in number five so five dollars number five two people can get a tin and then um the other item oh i see d thrill of the thrift thank you d so you get one of them and then um okay and then i see oh logan right is that your name i remember you um the vintage scavenger thank you logan so we have d and logan thank you okay and then the other item that didn't sell um was this baby's album uh with the blue and pink a uh, chick and lamb and a uh, dog and bear uh it does have some age to it in the pages but you can put uh our baby's picture album so if you hear a dog outside i'm sorry <laughs> they're barking out there and it has some age so you can use this for junk journaling or give it as a present for someone who's having a baby and it comes in the original box um it comes in the original box and there is some wear and some tear along the edges but it's still good so i had this for 15 i can do this for um you can do this for 10 um and you'll get in the box so ten dollars number 20 with the original box so ten dollars number 20. cool that's a yeah. good deal yeah <laughs> hi logan um, so this, I has the offer up. I'll do a straight up price. It is this very mid-century coaster set. Um, it has eight coasters. So some of the coasters um, do have some paint wear on it. It's really, and some are like in excellent condition. See, that's really good condition. And what's cool about it is it comes off. Lightweight and plastic, they come in this case. It is from Coaster Corporation. Sarasota, Florida. So if you have a mid-century decor, this is perfect. Um, it's got a little scratch, scratch there. Um, so it, it was offer up. I'll do a straight up price. What it started at $16, number 30. $16, number 30. Um, so there's that. And then, um, oh, was that it? Wait, did this sell? Uh, hold on one sec. Oh, no, I have this. So, um, oh, my God. Uh, my kids are, so this, um, so Southern Mermaid, I had the two necklaces in a lot. It was a turquoise necklace and a silver necklace. So Southern Mermaid only one of the silver necklace. I'm selling that to her for $7. So what I can do is sell this turquoise necklace to um, someone, <laughs> another person for $7 because I split them up. So it's these cute, they're not, I don't believe they're real turquoise, but um, turquoise like chips with silver in between. It's a longer necklace. And so you could probably double up if you wanted to. And these would be seven dollars. Seven dollars, number uh, fifty-one. Seven dollars, number fifty. Fifty-one. Oh my God! Sorry, guys. Okay. Oh my gosh! I wonder. <laughs> uh, so, Mary, I saw you put. You want number twenty? right for the baby album with the box uh for ten dollars just say yes uh if uh, uh that's what you meant <laughs> so
So um, I think it is, right, Mary? Just say yes. That's correct. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Okay, got it. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Mary. So that's going to you for $10. Okay, and then the other item that didn't sell um, is this pretty, here we go again, <laughs> is this pretty creamer that I'm trying to show you, and it's like a white and light pink, um, hold on, let's see if this shows, please focus. <laughs> So yeah, if you can see it, it has like a, a white and light pink ombre effect and some of the gold has faded, but it's a pretty creamer and you could put like a flower in it. Um, Sounds such focus. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, this camera doesn't want to, Too but polite. it's okay, it's fine. That's all right, sure. you got it. So it's pretty, as, uh, so it fades to light, light pink there, it's white. And uh, this used to be, yeah, you could put cheese sauce in here if you want, chocolate sauce, whatever, flowers. <laughs> this used to be $9, um, I could do $7 for this, for number 24. So I could do $7, number 24, um, for the pretty white to light pink ombre uh, creamer. So seven dollars, number twenty-four. Okay. And the other one that I have is uh this yellow duck. Well, <laughs> is this yellow duck with like the brown painted paint uh, strokes on it? It's a lidded dish. Um, and it's good on the inside. There is a small, if you look closely, I just point to, oh, uh, well, I'll point to it. I got it, I got it. Uh, there is like a small chip right here, but that's just on the inside. But other than that, the duck is in pretty good condition. And, uh, this, um, I had this for $15. Um, I could do ten dollars on the duck lidded dish, and this is number twenty-three. So I could do ten dollars, number twenty-three, for the duck lidded dish. Okay, um, those are my two items. Uh, I see Susan Thunderbird, right? For uh, number 23, and you get the duck for $10. Thank you. So I don't have anything else that didn't sell, but I'm just going to throw these things out here. Okay. <laughs> Since they're right next to me. <laughs> so I'm just going to do two last things that are totally new items. <laughs> and um, then I'll be done for the night. And then, Kim, if you want to show anything else, I have two Wade figurines. It is a little um, green chicken. It's light green. It's a Wade England Wade figurine and a blue goose. So they're both part of the bird family. <laughs> so yeah, bonus. Woohoo! <laughs> and so for the two little Wade figurines, uh, eight dollars, number fifty-two. Eight dollars, number fifty-two. And. Let's see. And um, therapy flashcards. <laughs> oh, hold on. So Polly's projects, you get number 52. That's good. Two. Um. Okay, and then therapy flashcards. And this is, this is like one of those gag gifts. I don't know why I love picking these kind of things up. <laughs> like the Kama Sutra pooping. And um, so it has like these, oh, it's not Kama Sutra, uh, something no, else. Kama Putra. Oh, Kama Putra. <laughs> so it kind of has like the vintage pictures 
and it says passive aggressive and then it has a meaning of passive aggressive characteristics where to sir if not translate your passive aggressive hints uh, that's kind of weird <laughs> um I don't know. Is this like touche? Your persecution complex is justified. I, it's, it, this is kind of different. Uh, I, uh, phobia. I wish you'd told me about your aquarium phobia before you took the gig. And she's like in a aquarium with a bunch of fish. Okay. So, anyways, you get all these cards in here. And what did this retail for? I don't know. We'll say $4. For the therapy flashcards, four dollars number fifty-three. Oh no, not poop again. <laughs> Where's my husband? I don't know where he is. It's dark in here. I didn't turn the light on. All I have is the um, ring light on. <laughs> so uh, four dollars. No, what I say? Number fifty-three. Oh, Mary, you got it. Are you going to use them for package toppers? <laughs> yeah, those are Is awesome. Is she really? I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Mary, let me know if you can use these package toppers. That'd be so funny. Okay, so I have just two items left that didn't sell. And um, it's this light blue uh, uh, egg-shaped ornament. It's, it has, like, these yellow and orange... Um, chick that are embroidered with a blue satin ribbon and someone said that this is called smock smocking smocking uh the way it's like all gathered and it has like a light blue lace uh ribbon on the bottom so cute for easter uh, egg ornament and uh this i had i had 12 dollars on this i could do um t uh ten dollars on this i'll get free uh, number nine so I can do ten dollars number nine for the cute embroidered uh, egg ornament. So ten dollars uh, number nine, and then uh, the other item that didn't sell. Uh, I just realized it's like a mint green, right? Yeah, it looks like a mint green. Here we go. Uh, it's mint green. And light yellow uh, floral pink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, and uh, this. Where am I? Um, there's some normal wear on the bottom. It has a hole, so you would have it sitting like this. But uh, if you have it like in a display in a bowl or something, be pretty. So, um. This used to be ten dollars. Um, I could do this for uh six dollars. Uh, so this could be six dollars number six. So six dollars number six, and it's pretty light too. It's not heavy. So six dollars now for number six. And those were um my items. Someone just mentioned your husband is pooping alone while he has a chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Belinda. He's still alive, so now oh. I won't bother him. <laughs> so thank you, Belinda. You get the egg for uh, six dollars. Thank My you. My husband's probably like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> wait till you tell him. I told everyone. I know. I can't. I, I can't wait to tell him. Like, I told. <laughs> I knock on the door. What are you doing? What's going on? Are you okay? <laughs> well, thank you guys, everyone, for coming to our sale. Kim, it was so much fun. I loved laughing with you and selling with you. This was this was a great sale. And um, and thank you for uh, inviting me to do a live sale with you. Yeah, maybe someday I could come to like your sale, uh, your sale, or you, if you want to come on my channel again. Yeah. Or, um, I don't know, you know, whatever. <laughs> or, um, yeah. So, uh, I, it seems like I'm having guests um, on my channel a lot. So, if any of you do YouTube live sales and you want to be a guest on my channel, or if you want me to be a guest, I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you can send me an email 
or you can uh, Instagram message me, uh, DM me on Instagram, thrifting.adventures. So yeah, um, I am going to, I don't know if Heather's still here. She might be in bed. But I'm doing a sale on Saturday. Kim, what time did I say I was doing on Saturday? Saturday at um, 8 a.m.? Oh, yeah. Oh, I so think 8 a.m. Pacific. So is that 11 a.m. Eastern? 11 a.m. Eastern. I'm having yeah. a, to a kids, sorry, kids toys and clothes sale. So me and Heather from um, what is her, Plus One Thrifting are going to have a kids toy. So if you guys know like grandmas, moms, aunts, friends that have kids um, or need kids clothes and fun kids toys, um, some will be new, some will be used. Definitely send them over on Saturday morning. And yeah, and so remember, if you never purchased from Kim, to email her. Um, her email's right there, omvintage at gmail.com. Email her your info. Subscribe to her channel. Email Yay. me. Oh, yes, in 10 Central for the kids' sale. So, yeah, all right, Kim. Well, cool. Thank you guys so much. And we'll see you next time. Oh, wait, wait Kim, tell me your uh, weekly sales. Oh yes, <laughs> um, I have a a weekly li YouTube live sale every Tuesday at six p.m. Eastern, and I always make sure I finish before Stephanie's live sale, <laughs> um, uh, which is hers uh, at eight p.m. Eastern. So yes, yeah, so I have it every Tuesday at six p.m. Eastern, um, uh, and I will be shipping out your invoices uh, with. Uh, I say shipping, whatever. You know what I mean. I'll be sending, sending out, out. Yeah, sending yeah. out. Um, and just make sure you email us at the email scrolling across at omvintage at gmail.com and nani3131 at yahoo.com. So thank you so much, everyone. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, All Stephanie. Right. Good thank night, you. everyone. Bye. Bye.